it's Gubba at the Gubba Homestead and today we're going on the adventure of a lifetime. I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of the chicken coop which is behind me. So make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications so you never miss another adventure. And when I say this is going to be an adventure of a lifetime, it literally is going to. So you guys saw the greenhouse, you guys saw the mess that that was. So just imagine for a second the mess that this is going to be. I have chickens coming in about a month and a half, so I only have that much time to clean this out, get it ready. I want them in a good, clean area. <sighs> and I am in over my head, but I am on a journey to become self-sufficient. I want my chicken flock. I want to have those eggs. Not quite to meet chickens yet, but I want those eggs. And this is all part of the journey and I got to clean her out and well you guys are just gonna see what it is and uh, what I have to do so um, prepare yourself because uh, it's scary let's go starting with the door we have a little latch yes I'm wearing a glove I have full protective gear for when I clean this today I'm just going to wear a glove all right so we open her up we have a little gate, so in the summer I can close this. The chickens can get some ventilation. We open up, and this is what it looks like when you walk in. This middle hall, I'm not quite sure what is behind there. It's just an old leftover wall. This hasn't been insulated. There was some old insulation up there, but this is what it is, and this is an old dog bed and bowl. This used to be used to house dogs oh my goodness old straw all that needs to be blown out so you come in this is the nesting box you lift it up these need to be cleaned out as you can see they are full of mouse poop I'm not wearing a mask right now, but when I clean, I definitely will. That is all mouse poop. Ew. So, this is locked. I've actually never been over here, but uh, let's go. More dog bowls. Um, insulation. All of the windows were shattered because heat lamps were in here and I guess it got too hot on a super cold day. This will have to be cleaned out. That's where the chickens will go out right there, up and down. This looks like it was the old roost. Nesting boxes. Um, I'm gonna build a tiered roost but oh my gosh, there's so much mouse feces. Oh! I'm like dying right now. From the middle and over to here. This, I don't know if this was for the dogs, if this was old for the chickens, but it's just a bunch of hay that needs to go bye-bye. I don't know if I will use this side as this has the chicken, gosh the chicken nesting box. There's another chicken exit right there, unless this was just sawed for the dogs, I'm unsure. Dog, dogs, I don't know. Um, I could insulate it after I clean it. This needs new chicken wire, because it's broken through. Oh my gosh. I just still can't get over this in here. I can only imagine what's behind there. I don't even want to know at this point. Okay, we gotta go. Let's just go look. I'm gonna send you guys back there. I'm gonna barf. I'm just like perplexed at the amount of rat poop or mouse poop. Sorry if I said rats earlier. And I have a full body suit. 
to clean in here. I have my goggles in N95s because, well, you guys saw the amount of mouse poo. So I got some work. It was good for me to come in here and see what I have to do. I'm trying to figure out how the ventilation is going to work in here. I don't see... Maybe where the ventilation or like the... I'm blanking right now. The insulation is. I'm not sure if that's where the old ventilation was because this is definitely a chicken coop. And it was just stuffed with insulation. I'm not sure. But yes, I have a huge project ahead of me. So this is good for me to actually just like come in and see the whole thing and I don't know what the heck this is. Like, what is this? If you have any ideas in the comments, tell me. Um, it just looks like a wooden board of some sort. Maybe this was stored and uh, yeah, the windows are cracked and I think they just like shove stuff in it to help the windows, but... You know, if I insulated this and then drywalled and all that, it would actually look really nice. So there's a lot of potential. I hate that word because that's what I'm told so much. There's a lot of potential. Um, here's heat lamps that I do not plan to use. These are dangerous. Don't use those in your buildings outside. Too much of a risk. It does have electricity, so that's nice. And, uh, wow. Okay. How many, let's see. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six nesting boxes. I, uh, kicked up some dust when I shut the nesting box top. So I, like, was sprinting to get out of there because I don't have my N95. <laughs> and maybe I'm a freaking wimp, but I'm also super careful. I don't want, you know, the mouse poop flying into my lungs. And I am just like, wow, I got a lot to do in there. But just taking a shot back, vacuuming it all up, maybe like power wash it. If you guys have any ideas, please let me know in the comments of like freaking just cleaning the crap out of this and sanitizing it. Um, I also plan to do pine shavings for the floor. Read a lot of great things about pine shavings for the floor. Uh, it's sanitary. You can use it as compost later on. Easier to clean than straw. Straw gets wet and goopy, so I'm not going to do that. This is where the chickens will be r happily running out of into their little chicken run, which also needs to be cleaned out. <sighs> chicken run goes on for a little ways down there. And it is has these extra fences, which I said I will use to reinforce the chicken run. And um, along with everything else in this property, this chicken run also needs to be cleaned up. Don't know why there is a divide, but this is the divide. And then this looks like this used to be the old gate that would go right here and divide the two runs. So I'm just gonna make it one big run, I think. The chicken run enclosure is only about four feet tall and I want to bring it up about two feet because predators are, I just don't want to risk anything. Foxes, coyotes, all that stuff out here. And then I'm going to put string to crisscross over my chicken run because there's so many hawks and eagles. So they don't like to dive into something that isn't like a straight landing, like string crisscross makes it harder for them to find a way out. So that is what I will be working on. Another amazing thing that I have right here is water access with this hose well bib that is right next to the access for the chicken coop. I can just come out here and get water. I don't have to lug it from anywhere. Just turns on. This is a little rusty up here. I use it to for watering and whatnot, for water, getting water for the dogs. And, but that's not a big deal. WD-40, just replace, or just replace this handle. And anything else that needs to be replaced, but so happy I have this right here. So, I have a lot I gotta do. Gotta clean this out before the chickens get here. I'm getting nine hens and a rooster. I want it ready to go. I'm gonna be building the roost, doing the pine shavings for the floor. The windows, um, I might just cover with tarps for the time being. 
until summer rolls around then I can get some new windows to pop in seal I got to figure out the ventilation system if not I'm just gonna drill some holes in there um because there either needs to be floor ventilation or top out ventilation so then the chickens don't get sick they can live in a healthy environment the chicken run is only about four feet high right now so I need to reinforce it and make it about six feet high which I have fence around the property that I'll be doing that with there's also a fence in the chicken run which I believe the chicken run used to be divided into two like the chicken coop is and they had two different flocks of something or they kept different flocks. I'm not quite exactly sure what that was all for, but yeah, I am so excited. My journey is self-sufficiency. So make sure to comment down below what you think. If you have any cleaning tips for the chicken coop, please let me know because it is scary. It is a disaster and um, I have to get in there and just bite the bullet and just freaking go and clean it. So thank you for coming on this. <laughs> adventure with me and I hope you enjoyed the tour and don't do anything you go and do and have an amazing day bye